Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boils and ghouls. Today, do we have the most heartbreaking announcement of uh, 2020 thus far? Um, yeah. Uh, first off, welcome uh, back, Sammy. It's been some yeah. time since he's he's been away. Um, yeah. He's been under the weather, but now he's back, healthy again. It's always good to hear, yeah. especially during the scary Wear mask. times. Wear a mask. Wear a mask. <laughs> Wear a mask. Uh, be cognizant of your coworkers because they can give you COVID. Yes. I learned the hard way. So, yeah. Um, uh, announcing it here first. If you guys didn't know, Sammy had COVID. Um, but he's yeah. he's on full recovery. He He survived. <laughs> So that's good. Yeah. So that shows you right there. That's living proof right there that if you get COVID, you can survive it. Yes. But um, still be careful. But Wash your hands. Still be very uh, careful, yes. Sanitize often um, and wear a mask. Yes. And, uh, be aware of your surroundings because you don't know who's asymptomatic. Right. Always wear um, your mask. But um, um, that's enough good news. I think we got to get to the bad news, Tony. Yeah, the bad news, uh, man. And that is uh, our dose of both coasts of uh, HHN have been canceled for the 2020 season. The news that we were all um, expecting to hear, but we didn't want to hear. I definitely agree that it was something uh, none of us wanted to hear. Um, and I think it was quite the shock, actually, um, speaking on my own on my own behalf on this, um, because we had saw the construction happening on both coasts. We saw the tribute store um, in Orlando. Um, and so like, we all had the feeling HHN Hollywood was canceling. Right. Um, but definitely was not expecting Orlando. Um, and so that was quite heartbreaking because I know Tony and I were considering going to Orlando, um, you know, pending money and pending, you know, health and stuff like that. But um, this was, I think this was both um, the news we were expecting and a bit of a shock. What are your, what are your thoughts, Tony? Yeah, no. So I was at work when I got the news about it. Um, we were working and, and then I checked my phone and, the first thing I see is a bunch of Instagram notifications, not only from the group chat that we have, but uh, from from everyone, fans as, as well, uh, that were DMing me like, did you see this? Have you seen this yet? What, what are your thoughts on this and everything? And I'm like, wow, this, this is the news that I was really uh, expecting to hear, but I didn't know I was going to hear it on both coasts. Um, and I guess it kind of makes sense on both coasts because if you really look at it in a, in a kind of a, a – an event type way if they were announced the ips that are going to be at orlando it would piss a lot of people off on the west coast that'd be like oh shit that's what we could have gotten you know and uh I, I think it was a smart move on the company to to announce this um we both know in california and florida are not the, the hottest spots right now or are, are actually the hottest spots right now for covid um and numbers keep spiking and it's not looking it's not looking good uh, and I think this was the, the, in a professional business manner, this was the smart move to make to keep the safety of both guests and characters and all the behind the scenes people, um, you know, safe and, and COVID free because, you know, it, it, this virus is a very serious thing. And I don't think there's a lot of people out there that realize that. Um, and I don't want to touch, I don't want to touch too much on that, but, uh, yeah, I, I think that I, I, what they did with this decision was a, a good decision, a very heartbreaking decision, but nonetheless a good decision because, you know, these, these numbers aren't going down. And I fear that if you you were to chance to go to the event either coast, there could be a uh, even higher risk of you catching the virus. Uh, and I, I think it goes without saying, but we'll say it nonetheless. Like, definitely our hearts go out to everyone in the Hong community that's been impacted by right. this, whether – you know, those have already been working on these events because we know it's not easy to build the maze treatment. It's not easy to plan for these events. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of work that goes on, blood, sweat, and tears. And so definitely our hearts go out to all those people and those who may be impacted economically by this, um, right. which is, you know, obviously, um, you know, not only do we want to care about the health of, you know, everyone um, that's impacted, um, we definitely want to pay, you know, care about the people's wallets because, you know, um, it's very important people put food on their table and keep a roof over their head. Um, and so, you know, definitely, you know, we're, we're keeping uh, all those people in our thoughts and, um, you know, we want to make sure that they're, you know, taken care of because obviously some people rely on this, you know, for that extra side income that can take them through the rest of the year, right. you know, as a scare actor, or, you know, some people work, you know, multiple jobs and 
you know, carpentry or painting or whatever it is. So we're definitely, you know, thinking about you guys um, in this time as well. You know, as much as it's a sucky situation, I think, um, you know, we also got to care about everyone's health. Um, and I, I think with Orlando specifically, you know, they made it clear that they're very focused on making sure the day-to-day operations of their theme park are running smoothly. Right. Um, and I think that's very important. And so if the additional burden of HHN um, was too much for Orlando, you know, they're definitely, at least they made that announcement now um, and did it sooner rather than later. Um, I mean, but like I said, it's definitely just heartbreaking because it is the 30th anniversary. It was supposed to be the big one. You know what I mean? Um, for Orlando, I think yeah. both coasts, yeah. you know, both coasts were really bringing it this year. I really felt like, you know, based upon the speculation maps we were seeing, um, and they already, you know, began to work, which sucks. You know, we saw in Orlando that they are in Hollywood. I'm sorry that they already started putting stuff up in the back lot, and right. um, you know, we're trying to make that happen. And then, you know, Water World Two has been going up for a while, and um, so you know, like there's those mazes already being worked on. Um, you know, so like you know, someone's work is now being destroyed without really, you know, the public being able to see it, which sucks. Right. Um, um, and the same thing with Orlando, you know, they were already starting to put up a lot of their stuff. And, um, you know, heck, their tribute store was supposed to open supposedly today. Mm-hmm. Um, we all know that didn't happen. Um, but, you know, there was already that work done. And so merchandise was already being ordered and all these other things behind the scenes were being done. So that definitely sucks. Um, oh, yeah. And I really hope that there's not really not a really big economic toll that, you know, next year that we're going to see a significant increase in prices or that we're going to see um, a less quality event just because they've already spent a lot of money and won't be able to recuperate that. So, Definitely. you know, those are some of my fears going forward. Um, but I really hope we get this whole COVID thing handled um, soon because I would, you know, next up on the list of things that are going to be impacted is, you know, Thanksgiving and um, the holidays for people, which, you know, some people really enjoy that time with their family and things like that. So, um, you know, we're seeing something we both enjoy the haunt community being impacted um right and you know who's to say what's going to happen next um you know we can probably say with almost certainty that probably Knox is going to be following suit pretty soon um i have hope for the hayride that the hayride will still happen um and then what about you know your little home haunts and things like that so i know a lot of them are wanting to you know go on with the um bloodshed brothers but you know if uh, Uncle Sam comes and knocks in, there's nothing they can do. Right. Unfortunately. Yeah. And, you know, I, I don't want to be the guy who, you know, I, I know there's people out there that say, you know, don't say anything until it's official and stuff. Um, and, you know, I, I agree with that statement. You know, don't say anything until it's official. But, you know, I work, you know, my, my main job, I work at a high school. I'm a janitor. And, you know, we've been really kicking ass this summer and, and really trying to prepare everything for kids to come back in a safe and, and, and clean working environment uh, for everyone, both staff and students. Um, but and, – and I'll get to my point where I'm trying to make with this. But basically whatever, you know, Los Angeles School District kind of agrees upon, usually it impacts other small school districts surrounding that area. Uh, point being – Usually, if a big haunt like Halloween Horror Nights gets canceled, it's going to affect the other haunts surrounding the area because they're going to take notice as to, okay, they're not opening for some big reason, and they're a huge haunt. Maybe we should follow their steps and and take the the right precautions as as well. Um, So we've already got Queen Mary. They were the first ones to come out and say that they wouldn't be doing uh, Dark Harbor this season, um, but they would be returning next season, so that's good to hear. Uh, Halloween Horror Nights, both Orlando and Hollywood have both said that they are not doing this season and that they would be returning next season as well. Um, the three left on the list is not Scary Farm, uh, the Los Angeles Haunted Hayride, and Six Flags Fright Fest. Uh, we have not heard any news from them yet. Um, so until that gets announced, we'll keep you guys updated on that. Uh, it is very, uh, very devastating because I know uh, for me and Sammy, I mean, there's little, there's little things that we we like with each haunt. I mean, each haunt brings their own game. You know, with Knots, me and Sammy made so many memories and met so many great people there. Um, 
with Halloween Horror Nights, a tradition of ours and, and TLEVs is we do the Try Not To Get Scared Challenge, a little fun video that we put out for the fans who are fans of both channels, just a little fun, friendly competition. Uh, and the sad part is we won't be able to get to do that this year. Um, one thing I really look forward to doing every year, uh, especially with our new members, I was going to you know bring them involved as well. Um, so it, it is, it is, you know, it is things like that. It, it is kind of like the little things that you think about. Um, if I can leave it off with one thing is that, you know, this is the time right now to reflect and really not take anything for granted. Uh, you know, you don't realize how much you miss something until you actually lost it. Um, and I was reflecting a lot with my, with my dad the other day of, you know, how, how much we, we right now, especially miss Disneyland. Um, we've been seeing so many things you know with the 65th anniversary and so many like old stuff watching a lot of old like stuff from disney from back in like the 50s and 60s on on disney plus that we really miss disneyland you know it's little stuff like that or like me and my dad going to the movies like we really miss going to the movies you know and I, the only thing i can leave everyone with is please please do your part wear a mask slow the spread be cautious if you're sick stay home um and just, you know, I, this goes beyond haunt season. This is more than that. This is just, this affects life. You know, there's small businesses that are closed that are getting affected by this. There's major businesses that are closed that are getting affected by this. And, uh, you know, there's actually, there's, there's actually deaths recorded because of COVID-19. And the, the way we can do our part is just, of course, wear your mask and slow the spread. It's not going to obviously stop it, but it's going to slow it down. Uh, so you don't really transmit it to other people. But it is going to be a, an interesting haunt season this year uh, because they're really won't, looking like there's not going to be any haunts. But we have ways around that. Of course, like Sammy said, home haunts will still be happening. Uh, those who've come out and said that they're still going to be doing home haunts. Um, example, the Bloodshed Brothers um, are going to be doing their haunts still, uh, Terror and Train Town. So I'm excited for that. And, um, you know... We did say, too, that we would be doing some more live streams during haunt season to kind of, you know, get you guys by that. So we're going to we're going to all sit together and, and figure that schedule out when it when it comes time. Uh, so expect some more live streams from us with horror movies or, or video games or whatever it is. Uh, we're all going to just try to give you somewhat of an experience of, of something of a Halloween vibe this season. But um, that's really all I have to say. I mean. Yeah, I think I just want to close up on that, too, is, you know, we're not going anywhere. Um, it was a night before. We're going to still continue to push on and um, push through this. Obviously, you know, like like Tony, or, you know, like I said earlier, um, you, you know, me and Tony are even uh, Will um, or Logan, you know, these are this is our favorite time of the year. You know, it's, it's a haunt season very much. And, you know, and obviously it's devastating, but, you know, first and foremost is health. Um, but, yeah, we're not going anywhere. We're going to be doing live streams. We're still going to be putting out content, um, you know, as, you know, and, you know, is it, it is a good time to reflect, um, you know, on, you know, these things that we get to enjoy. Um, and it'll be nice, hopefully, when we come back in 2021 um, to be able to, to, to dive in deeper because, you know, sometimes the longer you're away from something, the more it means when it comes back. Right. Um, but in the right. meantime, you know what I mean? Like, if you need your dose, you know, we got a ton of walkthroughs um, on the account um, that you can always go back and watch. And, you know, I know I was doing that last weekend um, when there's some walkthroughs and just being able to enjoy and kind of remember how great things were. You know, I was watching like this uh, us walkthrough and I was just like, man, like there was so many cool things. And um, <laughs> even if you've watched a walkthrough before, you know what I mean? Like. There's so many little details you can catch every time. Right. Um, so, you know, I just challenge you guys to, to find the positive in this. Um, I know that me and Tony are going to do our best to find the positive. Um, and, you know, we're not going to dwell on something that we can't be in control of. But, right. you know, the, the things we can be in control of is what happens tomorrow um, and what's happening today. So, you know, like Tony said, wear your mask. Let's slow that spread. Um, and let's, uh, let's just, you know, do our best to, to socially distance and, um, not, you know, just because we're losing hope doesn't mean that uh, there's not a piece of hope because all it takes is uh, the hope the size of a mustard seed to move mountains, they say. Yeah. So, uh, so just hang on yeah. to that, whatever amount of hope you have. Yeah. Uh, and if you guys are really, if you're really having a hard time right now um, with the whole 
cancellation of a haunt season, you know, just hit us up on on any social media platform. We're, we'll be happy to talk to you guys. Whether you get a response from me or Sammy, um, you can usually tell the difference between the writing. <laughs> Sammy's a little bit more professional when it comes to writing. I just kind of am just really slang, and that's just how I write. But uh, you, you'll you'll kind of end up knowing who's who's talking to you. But either one of us will be happy to talk with you guys. I know a lot of people are taking this really really hard because a lot of people love this event to a, a, a like die hard like like we, we love this event too we really do and we're trying to look at the positive in things uh even though we are very devastated about the event being canceled we are trying to look forward into the future to tr try to make something positive for you guys so if you guys are really having a hard time um you know taking this news just just you know talk to someone and like i said our dms are always open so come through and and you know, if you guys want to talk about it, uh, we'll be happy to talk with you guys. Um, but, uh, again, elaborating on what Sammy said, you know, watching walkthroughs is good. And if you want to hear scare actor stories now, we did Scare Actor Appreciation Month, um, which probably won't be happening this year now because of the whole cancellation. But we're going to do our best to still keep, continue getting uh, guests or former scare actors on the show regardless um, throughout, the, throughout the rest of the year. So we just uh, – I just filmed an amazing podcast with um, – Rebel, who plays, um, her name's Corey. She plays Rebel at, at uh, Boardwalk uh, at uh, Carnival at Not Scary Farm last year. Uh, so that was a good podcast, which that will be out next week. But yeah, I mean, we're going to still try to deliver you guys really good content, uh, live streams, um, podcasts, whatever we can. May Streetments is, is going strong. You guys seem to really like that show. Uh, and we, we have, uh, we've run into some bumps, but we are working around that. And, uh, we're going to try our best to, to keep delivering May treatments, and then uh, I can tell you right now it's going to be renewed for another season, so that's good. But um, we're doing our best. Uh, so we, just hang in there, guys. It is, it's is—it's a very interesting time in the world right now um, with everything going on, and the only thing we can do is do our part, you know, um, and, and try to slow the spread and, and try to just just wear the masks and, and hopefully eventually – next this time next year we can begin hyped for hhn uh 2021 so i want to say thank you to each and every one of our subscribers who constantly support us um thank you to uh the honk community just for accepting us of who we are uh and please leave some comments below if you guys want to talk about this uh we'll be happy to talk with you guys in the comments as well uh, like this video if you guys enjoyed it, uh, the information. I know it's very sad information, but uh, if you guys enjoyed it, we'll keep updating you guys on stuff like this. Uh, follow us on social media, Instagram at the Knights of Horror and Twitter at Knights of Horror. Uh, and check out our merch website if you guys uh, want to buy any Knights of Horror merch. That is completely up to you guys. But uh, we love each and every one of you. We are here for you guys, and we will see you guys soon. Peace.